Good afternoon. Um, it is June 9th. It's a little past noon. Uh, I was supposed to get a lot of someone, but uh, we ended up canceling. I think they're in town for um, AX, so we decided, well, we'll just hang out during AX or something like that. Um, I'm tired. What else is new? I'm gonna catch up on some anime stuff though, and then get my day started. I'm gonna stream. I haven't streamed in a little bit, and I miss it. And I just want to play some video games and veggie out. That's that's the plan. Um, I didn't put out a vlog yesterday because I just didn't really do anything. Um, I woke up. I went grocery shopping. Um, didn't get all the things I needed even. And then for the rest of the day, I was just kind of like chilling. I played like video games with some of the people on Discord. I also, uh, we had some people over and so um, we were playing like board games slash like One Night Vampire or something like that. Uh, I forgot what the game was called, but, um, but I didn't want to like turn that into like my content because there were just, you know, it was just people hanging out and they weren't exactly people I knew very well, so it feels even weirder to like pull, pull out a camera. But, anyways, um, gonna get my day started here. Uh, brush my teeth and stuff. Whew. Whoa! I finished streaming. We watched some of the E3 stuff. We watched a bit of the Xbox uh, press release stuff and we watched some of Bethesda's. I missed out on a couple of the Xbox things. Like, for example, I missed out on Fantasy Star Online 2, which I was like a huge fan of when I was a kid. So uh, I'm sad I missed that. Dude, I'm playing the shit out of this, dude. I'm playing the shit out of this game. Let me know if you want to play Apex. I'm probably down in a, in a hot second. Oh my god, Spring 2020! Wait, what the fuck? That's in a fucking a year! God damn it, I got myself so hyped for nothing! 2020? I saw some of the other things as well, um... That I cannot remember at this moment. Uh, the Bethesda one comes to mind a little bit more clearly. There's one guy who was just like yelling the whole time, so there's that. And then, there's a couple games that stood out to me. There was Doom. I've never played the original Doom games, but I obviously have heard good things about them. And this new Doom looks like... Amazing. I don't know. I've never seen a shooter like that. I don't know if the other Dooms are kind of like that, but wow, that one was something to um, behold. And then the other game that I was actually really excited about was, I think it's called Ghostwire. And one of my favorite things about that one was there's this one woman out there who kind of reminded me of Bokuben's um, character, uh, the short Bob with the orange hair, that girl. And she was, she just had this like very bouncy, uh, infectious energy, and she was uh, really, really funny. I'm very excited. Let's take a look. Meet the net. Thank you. Bye bye. So I like the presentation of it, and I also like the game, which had this kind of dead Death Stranding a little bit kind of vibe, where it's creepy, post-apocalyptic Tokyo sort of dealio, and it's just it was very just cool. We also finished up our Waifu Wars, uh, which is our Discord event. Um, big shout outs to my Discord community. They kind of whip up these sort of different events where they just do a 1v1 tournament. They do watch alongs for anime. There's just a lot of things going on. So, you know, go ahead and join my Discord. You'll find the description in the link below. Um, and yeah, I don't know. They're they're just fun, and uh, I enjoy playing games with them. We played some league games today. We did some one v ones um, between me and some of my community. Also, I ended up playing some Apex later that night. So, did all of that. Other than that, what did I do today? Oh, he does get it. Oh. Oh, oh no, oh, 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 oh my god, can you believe it, oh my god, that was such an outplay, Jesus, holy shit, dude, <laughs> oh man, I didn't really do much of anything today like yesterday um i just want to apologize for the lack of consistency in my videos this is now the third day i think in the last two months that i haven't put out a video i think a large portion of it is just my days haven't been particularly interesting i've just been at home streaming and there isn't there isn't like a a thing that makes me want to put together a video about my day 
and I'm noticing that I'm kind of like filming my day less because I don't know. I feel like you guys know everything that I eat uh, already. I eat the same thing over and over again. I, maybe it's like a little bit of stagnation, but also I'm just full disclosure. The burnout is still like super heavy and I don't really know what to make of it. I feel as though I just kind of need to write it out and not force myself to do things quite yet. It makes me feel awful because I feel like I should be working, you know? Uh, I shouldn't rest on my laurels. I sh certainly haven't earned my laurels. Is that even how you use that term? I have no idea. I've just been sort of in a rut uh, as, as I've been talking about in the last few videos and it's going to continue, I think, for a little bit. There are certain, a couple of things that I've been mulling over that I can't really talk about publicly. And it's one of those things that I think I need to wait a little bit before I can actually say it to you guys. And until then, I hope you guys understand that, like, I'm just kind of stressed out right now and uh, I have to think about stuff. I feel like ah, oh, it's it sucks, you know, being a public figure and having these problems. And I know most of what I do is earnestly talking to the camera and uh, I can't I can't pour out everything right now. But hopefully later I, I will be able to. So I hope you guys will look forward to that. Um, I think maybe tomorrow I'll just go ahead and do the Q&A video and sum up the uh, questions that you guys have been asking. Um, I am thinking about hiring a YouTube editor uh, just as someone to go through my streams and create highlight clips out of them and then you know package them up and I can put them on YouTube. I think it's especially good for things like now where I'm kind of not doing anything. I want to promise you guys that I'm I'm not being lazy. I've even been counting my calories. That's how you know things are still, you know, things are still happening here. But I can't show you guys quite yet. I'm sorry, I can't really fully disclose. And I'm sorry that there's been a lack of consistency in my videos. I will try to get back on the on the horse. I just need to chill out for a little bit. Take things one at a time. I'm still streaming. I'm still working at my other things. We have a new video that's coming out for never tomorrow or today uh, of Dreamcatcher's period. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I, I need to find my reset, you know, and come back and feel mentally whole and then be able to push forward and be, you know, <laughs> I don't know what huh is, but that's that's the thing I'm trying to find right now. I might be streaming more uh, in the coming weeks or so. I just want to be playing games again, and I kind of want to find my groove with streaming. I feel like I've been trying lots of different things, and I haven't found a thing, you know? And uh, maybe that thing right now is auto chess. I'm really enjoying it, so maybe that's the thing I grind on. Um, I, I, I think one of the things that is tough is that I'm someone who loves so many different things and it's hard to figure out like how I want to shape who I am. And I think one of the things that most content creators do is that they just have the like a thing that they are really known for. And I feel like I'm lacking that. And this is like the thing that really tugs at the fiber of my human being because I think one of the things that make me who I am is my jack of all tradesness you know i i love doing lots of different things i love fighting games i love league of legends i love card games i love puzzle games i love uh jrpgs i you know like i love all these things i love music i love k-pop dancing i love anime like how do i take all of this stuff that's sort of floating and then like start to compress it into some sort of thing that like gives people an idea of who i am as a human being because i think for a lot of the people who currently watch my vlogs you guys already have investment into me as a pr human being you know you guys already have that sort of first level of investment of like you guys know me the human being so you guys know that i'm into all this random shit but you guys are like oh that's okay because that's just like who josh is but i think for someone who doesn't know who i am they come in and they're like oh yeah i like that guy he likes anime and then you you go into the stream and he's like now he's playing Magic the Gathering, and that has almost nothing to do with anime. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like it's harder to hook people in when you don't have that consistent thing that um, that you can do. I think it's one of those things that once you're really big, once you're like the top of the world, you can do variety. You know, you can be the soda poppin who does whatever the fuck he wants and his stream doesn't care. You know, like he's already got that investment pool of so many people that he can, he can literally do whatever he wants. But... Uh, as someone who's trying to grow, I feel like I, I still need to find my 
my niche and attack it. And one of the ways I'm going to do that is the anime stuff. Depending on how uh, this next section of my life pans out, there's a chance that I might be more solo running the filler arc. And so, um, you know, I've largely it's been sort of Lily's thing and she kind of tells me, hey, like, uh, let's film. And then I'm like, OK, sure. Due to some of the circumstances that are ahead that I cannot talk about, there there may be an opportunity there for me to just kind of um, use that as my vehicle to push out anime content to people. And I think that would be a good way to go. So anyways, um, those are some of the things that are on my mind. Um, and I'm so sorry for the vagueness. It's just been meh. I'm putting everything on hold right now. Everything is just put, I'm putting my life on hold. I just need to calm down, take a breath and let things sort of reset a little bit. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for my vlog today. I know, again, I apologize. I just, I feel bad when I put out content like this where it's just like, there's, it feels completely empty. And it wouldn't surprise me if somebody came in and was like, oh, uh, let's see what this guy Zell is doing. Oh, he's got a video titled whatever this thing is titled. Click and it goes in and he's like, oh, okay, he's starting his day, interesting, and then, he just talks in front of camera all day. That's his vlog. Like, what the heck? Resident Sleeper. And by, you know, like, I feel like that's more than possible. And so I, that's why when I put out content like this, I, sometimes I feel bad about it because I'm like, well, that's nothing, right? That's not real, real content. I don't, I, that's just how I feel about it. Maybe some of you guys don't agree with that. Uh, and I appreciate you guys. I like, it's really heartwarming to know that I have people who just like have investment in me as a human being. And uh, I am so thankful for that, but <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Ah, sorry. That was just a complete brain dump. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up my vlog. Please go watch on the Nevers, uh, ch on Nevers channel, the new cover that we did uh, of Dreamcatcher's Peary. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Please, um, you know, shout them out for me on your social medias they're they're like my babies now never's like my my little babies and i want them to grow big and strong thanks for watching this thanks for watching my complete brain dump of my situation right now um and i guess i'll do the classic youtube outro of saying you know please like comment and subscribe and um catch you guys tomorrow maybe my brain lets me Love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.